The overall goal of this procedure is to perform gene transfer into older chicken embryos in vivo to study gene function and regulation at older developmental stages. This is accomplished by first cracking an egg at about incubation day 2.5 and transferring the entire embryo into a petri dish system. The second step is to inject the plasmid encoding the gene of interest into the appropriate part of the embryo. After injecting the plasmid, place electrodes beside the embryo and perform ex ovo electroporation. The final step is to collect the electroporated embryos for analysis. Ultimately, immunohistochemistry is used to detect expression of transferred genes in the embryo. Today, we will show you how to do the ex ovo electroporation using chicken embryos. The main advantage of this technique is that ex ovo electroporation can overcome the problems of in ovo electroporation used for gene transfer in older chicken embryos. Successful ex ovo culture of chicken embryos requires the use of fresh fertilized eggs. Do not use eggs stored at 12 degrees Celsius for longer than one week. Lay the eggs onto their long sides in a forced draft incubator at 37.5 degrees Celsius with 60% humidity. After incubation for 2.5 days, when embryos are at about Hamburger and Hamilton stage 17, take out the eggs from the incubator. Label the top of each egg with a pencil to indicate the direction for cracking. For each egg, pour about 20